Several years ago, I was with a friend on some social circumstances, and we were all sitting around discussing it. And he said, had I ever seen or heard the name Fairblock? And I frankly said, no, I hadn't. So they went and got some, and they looked, showed it to me, and I said, well, what's that all about? And, you know, there's certain people in your life that when they explain something to you, you don't have to go out and research it. The credibility of that person carries itself. So they explained to me the properties of Ferroblock, what it did and everything else. And I said, well, that's, that's exciting. How, how come we don't know about this? And he showed it to me again, and I looked at it, and I said, well, I, I think I understand why we don't know about it. It looks like a gray dinner napkin. And I suppose just like a gray dinner napkin will keep the soup off your shirt, Ferroblock will protect you from what we now know as magnetic frequency ranges, which do have a cellular effect on the body's tissues. Once we began to look at the material and we read the research on the material that had been done to date, and the greatest amount of information was on phantom limb pain, also there was the journals from the British Columbia Medical Association and the research done, we began to use it on people with what we call connective tissue. And this is a form of so, um, muscle tissue primarily called smooth muscle or skeletal muscle, but it really captures most of the musculoskeletal pains people have. And the most easiest demonstrations of those had to do with wrists and knees because they were very easy to examine. The results you could see very quickly. And getting people to use it for a wrist and knee was quite easy. So in my own clinical practice, which I have a part-time practice now, we've probably used it, I think, about at least 130 different people with chronic symptoms. And the key was to take people initially who had daily pain. The reason is, if you take someone whose pain is there once or twice a week and they get help, they usually say, well, I'm in remission or it went away or whatever. But someone who has daily pain and they get relief of that daily pain, they're going to know right away. So the results with most of these people has been very satisfying, obviously for them, but the biggest effect was on reduction of pain, improvement of function, and for some of them, reduction of pills and other medications. When I began to look at the product information and I met with Mr. Kempe, part of my activities is as executive director for the British Columbia Chiropractic Association. So I introduced the research literature to our board, had a committee meeting with Farrah Block and Mr. Kempe. We read the research literature, had several meetings and discussed the findings. And the key thing was when you look at the blood tests that are associated with one of the published trials, it was very clear that Ferroblock material has more clinical and research information than a lot of things that the public uses for healthcare. So on the strength of the history of Ferroblock, it's demonstrated in published research trials, it was very easy to make the decision to endorse this for chronic pain that people were having. The, the care of Ferroblock is very easy because number one, it's a very fine stainless steel mesh nylon coated. So you have to treat it with some, some comfort and ease, if you will. You don't take it like a piece of cloth that's wet and you try to wring it out. Ferroblock, you can throw it in your laundry, wash it with other materials, and it stands up very, very well. So you can care for it just like standard clothing and garments in your house. It's not a problem. Well, this was the interesting thing, and of course in practice, because the patients expect that you have a certain amount of professional knowledge and experience, I would say to my patients, well, I have something new I'd like you to try here. We could explain what it is, but that might take two or three hours, but instead, would you please wear it on your wrist, your knee, your back, whatever body chronic pain they had, and they would very happily take it and drive home and use it. And invariably, we would phone them, usually after the third or fourth day, and we would say, now, after you've used it, what experience did you have with it? And every the patient would usually say, um, as I was driving home, I started to feel a warm, tingling sensation. And that was consistent for the users of Ferroblock. And there's two amazing things about the Ferroblock. One is that it works so incredibly well with chronic connective tissue injuries, things where there's inflammation and swelling and, and extreme pain. But the other thing is how fast it begins to work. So that puts people into a certain degree of skepticism. And I would usually not tell them what to expect in the first day. They would be accustomed to waiting three or four days. 
I would phone them on the third or fourth day and then they would tell me what they were experiencing already the first day. If we take swelling and inflammation as an example, there, one of the individuals, they fell off their bike, had a fracture of the arm, and the fracture wouldn't heal. The consequence of that was their arm began to swell, and the swelling was so extreme in the forearm, wrist, and hand that it was becoming a new medical emergency all by itself. So we gave that person a piece of ferroblock to wrap around the arm and said, well, we'll call you in three or four days and you can report to us what you found. Well, we did. And the person said, well, by the second day, almost all my swelling was gone. So this was sort of a, a physical finding that you can see in people, whether there's been a uh, tissue damage, but where there's swelling and pain, swelling is one of the consistent things that will change with the application of ferroblock. Function is another thing. So for example, if you can't bend your wrist, if there's chronic wrist pain at night from carpal tunnel and you have to wear a splint, people will find that they can sleep through the nights, they use the splint less, so they regain their function. There's demonstrable reduction in swelling and inflammation, which is visible. And of course, they'll start doing more and having less medication. No, we don't have any reported negative side effects. One observation that some people did tell us about, it was very rare that this would happen, but the odd person found that there was such a heat generated inside the tissue area within the first hour, which if they kept it on a little longer, the heat would start to dissipate. So the only remarkable thing we found was that some people found um, a heat, which was very uncomfortable, and after an hour that would drop off. Other people where there was a problem in the knee, for example, and the knee tissues were bone to bone. In other words, there wasn't any more muscle, there, wasn't, there was practically just bone to bone. That didn't have the tissues that ferroblock seems to have its effect on. People that are experiencing chronic pain, and this is people who aren't getting relief from anything, they're just having to suffer, they're taking pills every day, People that are experiencing chronic pain should definitely be trying the ferroblock because most of these people will find a difference and they won't find that. They have to wait a week or two to discover that.